Hello, I'm the Random Gamer, and welcome to day two of Pal World. We didn't really make much progress. As you can see, we just got a little start of a building going on, and just two things. Uh, this is our Pal Box menu. If you didn't see the last video, I recommend watching it. This is where you can put pals to work, and you can store them in the Pal Box. It's pretty cool. And you can adjust them to your party and such. Over here is your crafting table. Um, you know, a bunch of those. So let's get some pal spheres and go catch some more. Because one of the uh, quests here says to capture 30. That's actually quite a bit. So uh, Last episode, I didn't go over it, but I ended up... Uh, Getting a pickaxe and a axe. The pickaxe is for stone and the axe is for wood. Um, none of them are really excellent to fight with, but they're better than the club. I do not recommend getting a club. So I'll just use the axe personally. But down here, there's usually a bunch. Alrighty. Sorry, I just had to clear my throat. So we've got these chickpeas here. There's two level threes and a level one. I think I'm gonna battle the level one to completion. Actually, no. Oh, I didn't. I guess I didn't have the uh, pal spheres. Is what they're called. His name is hard to adjust to. So I gotta go back up and go get him. I thought I did. That's so weird. Yeah. Oh, he's coming after me. Little angry chicken. Such a okay. I guess I did complete a mission. That's awesome. Let's go check that out real quick before we go catch. Any more pals? What mission did I complete here? Oh, okay. It was the primitive workbench and the shoddy bed. Okay. So now we need to build a feed box and a pal bed. Two more pal beds. Okay. Any more wood? That's relatively easy. Let's go over here. Usually there could be some pals over here. So, oh, speaking of, perfect. Come here. Yes. Ah, I didn't want to equip my weapon. There you go. 100% capture. That's what I'm talking about. This guy, let's try for a challenge. There. Heck yeah, okay. So we caught two. Used up our um, pal spears there. Oh, it's a new new pal, I guess. I guess I'd never discovered this one yet. Okay. What's this? It's a sheep. Heck yeah, a lamb bell. Get him. Oh yeah, I have no pal spheres. That's okay. I need the, the wool though. There we go. And the mutton. There you go. Now it's time to craft some more of our house in a bit here. Get it all closed up. But first... How many more? Yay, I can do four. So... Here's a cool trick. You can put him there. And you can both work on it together. Makes everything so much faster. Alright, nice. So, in here, I'm going to place this guy. The Cactiva. Uh, and it is a guy. That's funny. In the uh, work base here for him to work. And let's see if I can get another bed. No, not yet. I need more wood. 
That's easy though. So we're gonna go up here. This tree respawns quite a bit, so that's that's really convenient for us. Let's just get all of it, I guess. Okay. Finish it off. So I was trying to build more of these. Now, I'm just gonna let them sleep outside, but on my other uh, world, I did wanna try building them their own hut, and, like building. I don't know if they'd use it personally. So I wanted to try that out later when I get more uh, resources. So there's two, and there's the third one. I don't wanna place it too close to my place. Just kind of place them like this. Let you guys build it, that's cool. You, help him. So, feed box. I don't think I researched, ah, I still got the points to research with, so that's cool. Got 12 points, so we need the feed box for sure. Let's get that. And then we're going to unlock the ranch so that we can breed our pals potentially. And I like getting the the bow and arrow right away. That's very useful for um, ranged attacks. I don't really use the spear, so but the shield is okay. The uh, outfit is very useful. I wouldn't go anywhere without it from here on out. And you're gonna need that in a minute, so. Let's go get a feed box. I need more wood. I need uh, 15 more wood. So let's go up here, grab a tree. So it seems like every tree drops about 22 wood. I find that to be pretty cool. It's like pretty universal. Uh, hello, strike. There we go. Six, six fiber, 22 wood. Per tree, so that's not bad. Let's capture this guy. Hello. Oh, you're trying, you're trying. How would you fight one of your own kind? Fight him. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Whoops, that one has no chance that I was trying to catch there. What? There we go. What? How did I catch that one? That's crazy. Nice. There we go. There we go. So I need six more for the experience bonus to be full. Oh, shoot. I need a repair bench now. I'm trying to keep everything in the same area here now. Uh, oh, but eventually we will move the base. That would be in production. Yeah, I need stone, of course. Good, good. Let's go here. Put that little bit of stone and all that wood in there for now. Let's go get some more. This game reminds me a lot, like I said it last episode, but a lot of, like Ark. Like there is quite a few similarities in this game to that of Ark. Like, no complaints, it's really cool. It's got that unique battle capture uh, uh, aspect to it, sorry. Here we are. I can get some wood, now I can do this. Okay, um. I needed this, the repair bench. We'll go with the crafting bench. It's only befitting. Okay, now I probably need to go get more. Oh, okay, I've got enough. And what about for the feed? Yeah, oh. Feed box. I try to keep that by their, uh, by their habitat, I guess we could call it. Because I think that would be, I don't know, smart. 
can have a snack easy to her bed. They don't have to go as far. I'll just load them up with just some red berries for now. And I need to start cooking more food. I don't even have a campfire. What the heck? Okay. So I need more wood. Go into my chest here. Oh, I took all the wood. That was it. I got one left. Nice. Okay, well, might as well do this upgrade real quick before we go get wood. Hello. All right, we can add a fourth pal to the camp and campfire, berry plantation, and another pal. That'll be easy. That's what I was working on anyways, actually. So glad we're in line here. A lot more wood needed. Okay. So I think I'm going to make like the berry plantation over there, possibly. Or we're going to put the campfire right about here. Why not? Wonderful. And let's get cooking on some eggs. Alrighty, that guy's just glitching out. What the heck? There you go. He's back to work. Alright, it's like a few eggs now. I think that'll be good. They'll cook on their own from here on out. Let's go get uh, some stone. I'm not quite at needing ore yet, but it is smart to get because I can get there pretty quick. So... Just grab a handful because they're heavy. Get some stone. Oof. Okay. There we go. So a five palladium to get five more pal uh, pal balls. And they cook fairly quickly. All right, I uh, guess pal sphere. Excuse me. Now that we got a couple extra pal spheres, let's go see if we can catch any more while we gather some. I think stone next or wood. There ain't a lot around, to be honest. Not a lot to look at around this area. Just basic mining. We're going to probably adventure later on in the next episode or so. Once I get through some of this crafting here. And you can actually like do cool stuff with it. Let's get some more wood for this house. I don't want to go without having like more of it built today. You can get some pretty cool builds in this. Me and my fiance were playing earlier and she got this like really cool looking house. It had like a angled entryway and such. It was super cool. Okay, I needed something specific though. First, campfire and a berry plantation. Can I do it? No, I need more wood, of course. Of course I need more wood. Okay, that's okay. Ah, there's some um, more of my level. Some lamb balls. And a chickpea. Heck yeah. Don't destroy it all the way. I need to capture that. Nice. That one's a definite win. Alrighty, leveled up again. So let's see here. Let's level this Kataba up with this lamb ball. Go get him. Go get him. Oh, he's gonna run away. Eh? Thought you were gonna run away. Gotcha. Nice. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. 
There we go. We only have two of those guys. We need to catch eight more for the experience bonus. A lot of wood, man. A lot of wood. All right. So let's go up this way, back homewards. Oh, I guess I'll catch you. Very easy. Chickapee. You know, some article advertised that it was the worst pal. And it actually levels out pretty well. Like, it it becomes quite decently powered. You know, let's eat some food before I starve, before I make it to base camp. Time kind of changes, but each episode should be around like 20 minutes-ish, half an hour. Which is probably pretty good, I think. And there's our next mission completed, I think. Let's go check the... Uh... Pal box here. I think I'm missing something. Yeah, okay, that's easy though. I just take you level one. And then just do that. And that's it. Base upgrade to level five. There we go. Okay. So we just need to build a pal gear workbench. So before I ignore this any longer, some of you are probably just gonna go nuts off that. I'm gonna do my stats. One to HP. And honestly, I'm going to do two to my work speed because that to me is quite important later on. And you'll see why. Like you get to do things way faster, way more efficiently. You know, like you get to the point where you're crafting like hundreds of berry, like baked berries at a time. So you got to get that workflow going, especially when you have a uh, fire pal. Those ones are super useful. You definitely need to find one as soon as you can. That's my recommendation for this. So that's probably what we'll do in the next uh, the next episode or next day here is uh, go find a fire pal because he, he becomes like super needed later. Let's craft some arrows. Nice and fast, nice and fast. Way to go. Oh, and when he joins, it's just gone, man. Like, look at it. Boom. Done. Oh, okay, goodbye. Sorry, pal. Oh, I should, uh, I need stone. Of course I need stone. So we're just going to go here. Just going to quickly, quickly, quickly get a couple stone just to fix my axe, or my pickaxe here, and a couple other things. So just grab four, five. Five is good with a palladium fragment. There we go. That's kicking some butt. And we can get another extra pal in the group here. Wow, we could get some things done fast the next day. Let's see here. It's repaired. I don't need to repair that. Um, so I got my fire going. I got three out of the four beds. I should try to craft their bed next. The fourth one. I keep up with this. How do I want to do this? Can I? Can I? Yeah, nice. Nice. Here we go. All right, they got their extra bed there, so they're not uncomfortable or anything. And I, myself, speaking of beds, I'm going to expand my home here really quick and just start getting it put together before the sun really goes down. Now, I'm going to leave that space there because, you know, eh. So what I think I'll do is I'll expand it just out by one like that. And we'll do this. You gotta be quick with this too, sometimes. And look, you can do a nice window facade. I won't put a window there, it makes no sense. And uh, like I said in the other video, the quick hack to sleep, to get through the night, because it's so dark all the time, is just form a platform, a wall, and a roof, and then throw your bed on and you can sleep. As long as you got that roof, you're good. You don't need a full house or anything, you just, just your bed, you're good, and your platform and roof. So, I am going to place a couple extra windows and walls, and I think we'll call it a day soon. Oh, I keep clicking the wrong one. We're out of wood. Okay. So, I can't craft anything, no, because I always need wood. And now I'm freezing. 
So I guess that'll do it for the episode, you guys. Thank you for watching, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you enjoyed the content, please comment and let me know if you want to watch any more, and stay tuned for day three. Thank you.